Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so freaking excited. What? Oh, did someone ask why? Why, girl? Why are you excited? Look what I have. I just received it the other day. It is so, so beautiful. I just looked at it. I didn't even, I didn't touch it. I wanted to be with you. I wanted to do this for the first time. I wanted to swatch it together. It is so pretty. I am so proud of Mel and I'm so excited for her. It's so beautiful. I'm just opening it. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. And this is the same as it is on the package. It's so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, let me just open this. Ooh, it is so beautiful. So here it is. Let me just take off um, the plastic. How gorgeous. I don't have to tell any of you guys because there has been review after review after review of how beautiful this palette is. Now I'm going to start off right from the get-go. I do not like pastels. I am not a pastel girl. Uh, I am in my early 50s. I don't do pastels. I, I you know, it's just not my thing. But doggone it, when I saw every single person do these beautiful, beautiful looks, and some that were very, very, very neutral, let's just put it that way. Like, I'm a neutral girl. Like, I was following and love Lisa J and I'm thinking and she had like she did a collaboration with three other ladies which I know one was um, Kelsa Brianna J and um, two other people I can't remember but I will link that video down below uh, they collaborated and I'm thinking how in, I'm gonna just pull this off the mirror so pretty I know I'm all over the place and I'm thinking how is she gonna she had the the jewel bee and the mantis. I'm like, now I want to know how in the heck is Lisa going to pull that off when I know she's a neutral girl. But she did. So I was like, okay, I have to have it. I have to have it. It is so, so beautiful. I just want to swatch a few of them. Right off the bat, I see Metal Hawk. Oh my God, it is so beautiful. I'm going to try, I'm going to do the mantis as everybody's talking. Yeah, wow. This, this BB is gorgeous. Oh my God, it's just so pretty. I'm going to do Bugaboo. Um, and they are so creamy. Sydney Grace. I, I ha and Wait, I can't leave this finger behind. I'll, I'll do the Jewel B since... Let me look at that. How beautiful. I mean, and I um, have the um, Enduring Love palette from Sydney Grace. It is beautiful. And actually, I'm, I'm just watching these on my hands so you guys can see just a few of them how gorgeous gorgeous and not only they swatched but they're still on my fingers look how beautiful they are so beautiful i cannot wait to put them on my eyeballs but um anyway so i do have the enduring love palette which is beautiful um and in the midst of waiting for all this and everybody's talking about um the sydney grace and i'm like you know what um i wanted to create my own palette but they're um magnetic palette i just wanted like a nine piece palette was out of stock at the time but now they're all out of stock you know I was desperate you know what when you want something I don't want it yesterday or tomorrow next week I want it like right now so I did go on Amazon and I did order a nine um single shadow magnetic palette and um I did pick up nine Sydney Grace shadows which you know we'll do that in another video but so of course all the ones that I wanted were all sold out I'm like oh. I do have them on my list but anywho so I mean they are so creamy they are so buttery and they are so inexpensive like I I just can't and it's nice that you can pick and choose what you want I want to say they have a few palettes they had that one it was a summer palette and it's still out of stock actually I was waiting for that one and I said you know what let me just create my own so I did I just have to pick up a couple more uh, pieces to make a complete um, palette that vibes with me but anywho stop chit chatting girly let's get started I'm gonna zoom you in I just want you to know that I do have full face makeup on I am testing out a foundation and I don't know which um, video is gonna go up first but whichever one I will link it 
I don't know. I'm new to this. And by the way, speaking of new, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, you could ring the bell. It'll give you notifications of when I post. I post Tuesdays and Saturdays between 1 and 2. And I say like 1 and 2 because I try to get like my Tuesdays up around 2 o'clock-ish. And then on Saturdays about 1-ish. So I think if I throw the ish in there, you'll get it. It's around between one and two. But um, anyway, so um, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. You know, and tell your friends, like, make comments, help a newbie out. That would be so, so great. And I appreciate it. And I appreciate you. But anywho, so um, I'm going to zoom you in a little closer because I am da -da 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 dying to try this palette. Okay, so I zoomed you in. And don't mind the hairdo. Today was the first time... I have gotten my hair professionally colored, thank you Jesus, since before the COVID. I will tell you that the day before I was supposed to see my um, hairdresser, she broke her wrist. Yes. So highlights, everything was all homegrown. It was a nightmare. But anywho, so you see all this, I just got it done. But. So don't mind the hairdo because we're here to talk about this little lover right here. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's so beautiful. I can't even stand it. So what I think I'm going to look at me. I'm getting closer. I'm getting nervous. Let me crack my neck. Okay. I know they're super pig pigmented. So I am going to start off with, um, does everybody start off with the same thing? I'm going to start off with tree hopper right here. And I will tell you this. Um, I, I bought and this has nothing to do with Hourglass at all. I bought the Hourglass Veil Eye Primer. I just don't think I like eye primer in general. For some reason, I just feel like it makes my um, eyeshadow, like makes it skip. And uh, I don't, you know, leave me some comments down below. Do you guys ever have that problem? Like I feel like every time I use a, an eye primer, it's not, it has nothing to do with Hourglass. It just makes my makeup, it just makes my eyeshadow not blend effortlessly but anywho so i don't have any eye primer on i just threw on whatever foundation i had left on my brush i just put it on there all right so i am going in ever so gently with the 201 bk beauty and i'm just taking tree hopper i'm gonna tap it and let's get this started i'm gonna start off right here at the edge like i always do and i like to put um placement first because I do have hooded eyes. So what I do with all my eyeshadows is I will place it first. So I'm gonna go right here because I wanna make sure that I can see it. Because I do have hooded eyes and then I will start blending back and forth with a windshield wiper motion. Okay, right off the bat, these are so friggin' buttery and they blend beautifully uh-huh like I didn't even yeah I, I barely mm-hmm that looks so pretty I know I didn't do a day about thing but it looks so freaking pretty right there that is so nice okay so I want to deepen the edge over there and I'm gonna go with death moth same same brush I just wiped it off a little bit and I'm gonna just stay ooh I'm gonna just stay right here that is so pretty. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm nervous. It's just makeup. Come on now, girl. That is so nice. So I am going to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to change my brush. And I'm going to take the... Mm, God, girl, get yourself... Oh, here it is. This is the BK Beauty 202. It's more of a domed shape that I love because it fits right here. I can't even stand it. It's such a perfect, perfect brush. And then I'm going to go in my crease now because I like that shadowy look that you get when you have hooded eyes and you put your darker eyeshadow in your natural crease that you won't be able to see. I just like it gives you like a little shadow, if that makes sense. And then with nothing else on the brush, I'm going to just take that darker shadow in the crease that I made and then just blend those two together. That is so pretty. Mm, isn't that nice? I like that. 
So I'm going to just stay here in a circular motion because I just want this to be seamless and then just fluff this up here. That looks so pretty. Ooh. Okay, so I think on the lid, mm -hmm, on the lid I want to do Love Bug, I think. I do. So I'm going to, I'm going to take this brush from BK Beauty, it's the 206, it's just a little bit flatter. Did I say Love Bug? I did. I'm going to take Love Bug and just tap it and then I'm going to just, ooh, that is so pretty. Wow, I love that. And I'm just putting it over my eyelid. Like, I'm not going above my eyelid. I'm just going on my eyelid. That is so nice. And while I'm here, I think I'm going to put it under my eye as well. Let me get my um, smudger. And I'm going to just put that underneath my eye. When you love something, you love it like a pair of jeans. When you, I'll take three pair, please. When you find something that you love, ooh, that is so pretty. Ooh, I love it. Mmm, that is so, so nice. Okay, so now what do I want to do? I really want to incorporate these... Um, lighter colors oh that looks so pretty i can't even stand it i'm gonna just fluff that up a little bit more that is so beautiful mm, that looks so pretty okay i think i'm gonna go for fire butt fire butt right here that's so pretty i'm gonna go all over my lid with that do i want to go over my lid with that no i take that back i'm gonna go with marvel oh god they are so beautiful that is so buttery. I'm going to take my finger and yeah, I'm going to go. Yes, that is beautiful. Okay. Well, Mel, these colors are, oh my God, this is so beautiful. Do you see that? It's like a rose gold, sort of, kind of, but not really-ish. Let me see. Oh, it is so beautiful. They are very creamy. They are very pigmented. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Wow. I want to use every freaking color in here. That is so nice. Can you guys see that? I'm going to just close my eyes. That is so, so pretty. All right, now I want to, I think I'm going to take web. And I'm going to put it in the inner corner. so oh my gosh look how gorgeous they are they are so pretty but can you just tell like the difference over something so I don't want to say subtle but you know just a little bit of brightening in the corner of the eye how gorgeous it makes it makes it look so put together it's so pretty oh wow that is so pretty Mm, that is so nice. I think I'm going to go up with this so it's not like it just stops. That is so beautiful. Oh, I love that. And I normally do not like um, any kind of shimmer underneath my eyebrow, but I will make an exception for you, Mel, because I love you. That is so pretty. Ooh. That one I barely touched, but there you go. So what I'm going to do now is I still want to go back and... Do you guys always have like one eye that always comes out better than the other one? I don't know why, but this eye always comes out so damn good. And then for some reason, this eye I, I struggle with. I don't know. Okay, that is so beautiful. I want to do... I get the, I, I want to take spider and I just want to darken um, the edges. So I'm going to take this refer zero to brush and I'm going to take the side of it so I'm going to just take the side of it and I'm going to just place it Ooh, I was going to say I'm going to I'm just placing right now that is so deep man I love it so 
So I just like to place it and now I'm going to work it. Work it! I know I always say that. So, so pretty. Mm, I want to try Mantis so badly. Um, I think I'm going to, you know what? I just want to go back in with Bugaboo a little bit because it feels like I lost you in translation there, baby boy or baby girl. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put it right in here. That looks so pretty. What am I gonna do with this? You know what, that's okay. We're gonna leave it like this. And um, we could always do another look. But this, there's, there's no rules. We can make another look another time. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm going to go off camera, put on some mascara, and um, let's see, do I have enough makeup on? Yeah, I think I do. Put on some mascara, and then we'll finish off with the lips. I will be right back. Ooh. Okay, so I'm back and I have a confession. I did put the mantis on in the inner corner underneath and above. I just could not help it. It is so beautiful. And I just barely touched it with the Refer 03 brush. It was so tiny, but it was so pigmented. It is so beautiful. Oh my God, I, I just, it came out so, so pretty. I am in love with this palette. I cannot even wait to even begin to just do so many great looks and I barely, barely did anything. I wanted to do them all. But anyway, so that is it. So this is what I came up with. I think it's so, so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I'm just going to just take off my lip smack and stick and um, go back and we're going to assess the rest of the makeup. Okay, so what I did bring down Today, I just grabbed um, the Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Pillow Talk liner with the lipstick. I just grabbed it and uh, did I bring? Oh, yes. And then I brought down the, the Pat McGrath um, Dare to Bear. You know, all the minis. All the minis because, you know, your girl can't afford Pat McGrath. Alrighty, so let me just put some lip liner on. I will say this lip liner is so creamy. And I like to overline my top lip. And then I will just take my finger and just fluff it down so there's no harsh edges. Well, I guess fluff it into the lips. That is so pretty, even that alone. With a little lip gloss, it'd be great. And I am not a lipstick wearer, but I am trying. I just ordered a lipstick that um, Mel recommended. And uh, so it's coming in the mail. And so I'm going to just finish it off with... Look how cute this little thing is. I want to bite it. Ow. So I'm going to just finish this off with the lipstick. It is beautiful. It is so perfect and so beautiful. I'm just not a lipstick wearer, but I wanted to try today. I'm trying everything new today. Mm, it is beautiful and it's nice and creamy. I really like that a lot and I love this color. It's very up my alley, but I do want to top it off with a lip gloss. So I'm going to just top this off with the Pat McGrath. Maybe I just put it in the, in the center. Ooh, that's beautiful. Mm. I like it. That is so pretty. So let me zoom you out and let's check everything out. And uh, Okay, so there you have it. This is the look that I came up with with the Tiny Marvel from Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace. 
what a beautiful palette i am so so super excited to dig into this palette it is so friggin gorgeous and like i said those pastels right away threw me off i'm like oh mm. but so so many of you made them work i am so excited so there you have it um i hope you enjoyed the video like i said i would love for you to subscribe and support and yeah so this is my look using the mel thompson and sydney grace collaboration congratulations mel it is so so beautiful I, I can't say enough about these beautiful colors and the products they're so creamy i mean you could not go wrong with a sydney grace eyeshadow they are beautiful thank you so so much um for sharing this with us and it is so beautiful you guys thank you so so much and um i hope you enjoyed the video and yeah have a great great day be good to each other and love each other bye